Hey there everybody and welcome to the channel. I'm your host Poobo Rama and in today's video I'm gonna be talking about my ultimate tryhard grinding money method in Grand Theft Auto Online. There's a lot of people that have been paying attention to my Broke to Billion series and some people have asked me how I've managed to make a hundred million dollars sometimes in two weeks because that's a lot of money and I should also point out that this is without glitches. Yes, I know that you can glitch the game with the uh, what is it the Arena War Mini Cooper you can do the glitch and dupe it you can also do the replay glitch but not everybody does glitches some people actually want to earn their money and I'm gonna be real earning your money feels a lot better than cheating the game so in today's video I'm gonna be showing how you can legit earn upwards of nine million dollars every day however I should point out that this is my try hard method so if you're a casual player and you don't want to spend four hours playing GTA doing this method then I would suggest just to watch my lazy video where you can still make upwards of 5 million a day with pretty little effort or just do the AFK method. With everything said, there are two things I want to point out. First of all, if you are not the fastest player on completing the missions I'm going to talk about in just a moment, then the amount of money you can earn per hour is definitely going to decrease. For example, doing the Cayo Perico heist, I can effectively do it around 40 minutes now every single time with no hiccups. It might take you 50 minutes, so doing certain things might take you longer and it will eat into your profit, but I can still cover comfortably say you'll be taking in at least 8 million. The second thing I should point out is that this method is loopable. What that means is if you complete everything I say here, you can start basically right from the beginning of the list, once again, go down the steps and do it over and over. So if you have more time than what I have showcased in today's money grinding method, you can actually make more than what I'm showing here. It's actually a, a pretty smart way I designed it just in case I do have extra time. So. With all that, let's get into the method itself. First things first is you want to make sure all of your businesses are running. For example, I'm going to go to my five large warehouses, pay my associates $7,500 each to go start sourcing crates. As well, I'm going to go to my arcade and purchase supplies only for my bunker. You can purchase supplies for your motorcycle clubs as well, but as I talked about earlier, this specific try-hard grinding session is really based on time, and selling your motorcycle club products just takes too much of it. So I do the bunker because it's only a single sale vehicle when you purchase one bar of supplies, which is 75,000. So pretty simple, very easy to do. Just source all of your initial stuff, and then you're going to start up a Cayo Perico heist. This is going to net you on average $1.5 million. I've just averaged that out because when you get like the tequila, you get about 1.4 million and anything else you get like 1.6 to 1.8. So judging that tequila is the most common spawn, I'm just going to average it at 1.4 million. That should be a fairly easy thing to get. After you complete the Cayo Perico heist, there's going to be a two hour and 25 minute cooldown as a solo player before you can start it up once again. And this is where the time really starts mattering because everything we do in between is literally money. If you're a decent player at the game, you want to complete your Cayo Perico heist within 48 minutes because then when you make your way back to the mainland after you finish the heist, it should be just perfect timing for you to start going back to your special cargo warehouses and sourcing once again. It'll take you maybe four minutes to do. That's at least how long it takes me. Not a lot of time at all. After after we finish sourcing, we're going to make our way over to do the Dr. Dre VIP contract. This is going to net us about $1.4 million because not only are we going to do the VIP contract, but we're going to do it with payphone hits placed in between and you make about 100000 just from the side missions itself. So add all that together and with the payphone hits, you're going to make $1.4 million doing the Dr. Dre heist. It's going to take you, as it took me about an hour and 20 minutes, I didn't really speed run it too hard when I did it uh, for the video, but yeah, so about an hour and 20 minutes to do the Dr. Dre VIP contract, which is fairly easy, honestly. You've knocked about an hour and 20 minutes off your time, which means now you've got about an hour left. And honestly, this timing works out pretty well, because as I said earlier, it takes about four or five minutes to source your special cargo, which means that if you finish this in about an hour and 20 minutes, you can subtract that extra five minutes of time away from doing your special cargo sourcing, giving you an even one hour left to continue grinding money. So now comes the golden question that in my opinion, a lot of YouTubers mess up, and that is, how do 
you make your money with this extra one hour of cooldown while waiting for your heist to come back. And that is life and death bikes. If you own a motorcycle clubhouse, you can go to your contracts board and start up missions. The one you want to start up is what I just said, life and death bikes. Now, if you don't have it, there's a very simple fix. Literally set your spawn location to your MC clubhouse, load into a new invite only lobby, takes maybe 30 seconds, and then you just walk up to the contract board again and boom, you might have it there that time. The longest I've had to continue searching is like maybe two times, so a minute. It barely takes any effort and you can constantly replay it because of this strategy. Now, with that in mind, you want to also purchase the customization workshop inside of your motorcycle club. This is going to allow you when you complete the death bike mission to deliver it back to your motorcycle clubhouse and sell it for an extra cash payout. In total, you're going to net $115,000 from completing a single life and death bikes. And then as soon as you finish it, as I talked about earlier, when finding the mission, just load into a new invite only lobby. Boom. Look at your mission board. Is it there? Easy. Start it up again. Beats Down did a whole video explaining how to do this. I'll link it in the description down below. But basically, it takes you six minutes in total to do this whole cycle, which means that you could do it theoretically 10 times. However, we're only going to do it nine times for one simple reason, and that is our bunker. At this point, your bunker will be out of product, meaning that it is at its max sale at $210,000. What you very simply want to do is find a public lobby, sell it. It's only one vehicle. I've talked about this in the past as well. I I've sold 100% of my bunker product solo with one vehicle. It's really easy, and you're gonna net $315,000 if you do this in a public lobby. Now, obviously, you wanna subtract the $75,000 of the fee you paid to begin with to source it, but even then, you're still gonna be making a pretty hefty profit of around $250,000. It should only take you about five, six minutes to do your entire bunker sale mission, judging that it is only going to be one vehicle, and that should be just about how much time I left over for you when it comes to your life and death bikes. If you're a little bit slower, just subtract one life and death bikes and then do your bunker sale mission, you know, one ahead or two. It's very easy to allocate time inside of this money strategy, depending on how effective you are as a player. The final part is doing the Cayo Perico heist again. All of the stuff I just talked about while waiting for the cooldown should be finished before the heist is ready to start again. For me, this method I'm showcasing here is the one I personally use and have tested many times, so I'm able to do just about everything I've showcased here exactly on time. However, if you're newer to this method or you're trying to mess around with it a bit, you can definitely, you know, just remove one life and death bike or change when you sell your bunker stuff. You might not want to do special cargo sourcing. It can definitely affect how much money you make because I've designed this to be extremely efficient, but even without that, it's still a very good way to make money even if you take a couple of these out. You're almost there, you're so close, but there's one more method left that you need to do to add in an additional $2 million into your bank account, and that is the AFK method. I'm just gonna briefly go over how this AFK method works and how you're able to make upwards of two plus million dollars with it. If you want a full detailed explanation of the most efficient ways to make money being AFK, I'll just link my video, which I literally made a couple days ago explaining it. But with that aside, very simply, for my method, you wanna go to the LS car meet. Some people have told me cameras still work, but the one I do is pretty simple. I just TP into the LS car meet, and then I want to go into a test drive vehicle. You're gonna drive the car in reverse as soon as you spawn in, and it's gonna ask you if you want to leave the LS car meet. Very simply, you're just not gonna press anything, and there you go, you are now fine. So if you play on controller, you're not gonna destroy your batteries, leaving your remote on, and as well, you don't have to worry about your controller's joysticks getting messed up because you've left a, rub a rubber band on them. Before, obviously, you play to be AFK, you want to make sure all of your businesses are stocked. So you're going to go over to your arcade or wherever you have your businesses if you don't own the arcade, and you're going to purchase your motorcycle club, and you're going to go purchase your bunker product, and then make sure also that you've done a quick source on all of your special cargo. Make sure your nightclub popularity is full. Also, I would suggest that you start getting contracts done for your agency if you haven't, because that'll give you an extra 20k every 48 minutes while being AFK. Very simply put, you're going to be making in about $2 million. I think I calculated in the video 2.5 million, but that was if you did everything right. I mean, even if you're just being conservative and put it at $2 million, it's still a pretty solid chunk for doing literally nothing overnight. 
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is my money grinding method for tryhards in Grand Theft Auto Online. The final thing we're gonna do is add up all the money that you will make doing this method. So first of all, let's add in the two Cayo Perico heists. That is 1.5 million each, so in other words, that is $3 million added straight into your account. Then we have 1.4 million from the Dr. Dre, so let's add in 1.4, here we go, do 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 do. Now if you're wondering why it's 1.4, Four million because obviously the Dr. Dre heist only pays you a million itself. It's because you're also adding in the payphone hits as I talked about before in between each of the three missions and as well you are adding in the money you're making on doing the missions themselves. So 1.4 million. After that you're going to be making $560,000 from sporcing special cargo. I should point out that you're going to have to sell that on your own. I haven't added that into this method so that sale time, I guess, just wait until they're all filled, wait for its double money or something, and then just sell it on your own time. We also have the nightclub, which is going to be making another $480,000 right there. If your nightclub obviously has max popularity, that's 50000 every 48 minutes, so 62500 every hour. And then as well, you have your other 60000 every hour from your nightclub just being a passive business and collecting cargo. You just have to sell it. Sale mission takes like 10 minutes at max. So again, you'll have to sell it on your own time, but it's pretty dang easy and I mean you can do it whenever just sell it when you're done doing the AFK part and then uh, and then start up the Cayo Perico heist again so another 480,000 there we're already up to 5.44 million dollars but we're not done yet we got the bunker adding in the high demand bonus but also the $75,000 fee you have to pay for your supplies you're going to be making $240,000 off of that on the dot so there you go you're at 5.68 million and then we also have life and death bikes which is $115,000 but you're doing it nine times as we said. So let me do that math really quick. 115,000. Multiply that by nine, which is going to be 1,035,000. So we're going to add over here 1035000. And now we're up to $6.7 million. Finally, we're going to add in the $2 million from doing your AFK method, which is going to net you a total of $8.75 million. Just about nine. That is pretty insane. Now, obviously, Obviously, you might be a little bit less efficient in the method that you do. You might not do the AFK glitch fully, or you might not do some of the other things as fast as I was able to do myself, but time and patience will definitely get you up there. And as I said, for me personally, I'm earning upwards of $9 million because I've also got, obviously, my agency passive in the background. I've got my arcade, plus I'm running my motorcycle club businesses with friends helping me sell every now and then. So there are other ways to increase the amount of money you're making, but I thought that this would be a pretty easy easy ballpark to set. And judging that it's $8.7 million for only about four and a half hours of effort, that's actually really solid. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to see more like it, please consider smashing that subscribe button down below. But other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.